Breakups are always tough, but they usually follow a predictable path. Like, it's not you, it's me. Or, I hope we can still be friends. And the classic, you'll always be special to me. You've heard all of those lines before, right? Well, that's not how Tiger Woods does it. The champion golfer has gotten himself in the news again, and it's definitely not for his skills on the links. You may not have been aware because until just recently, they were keeping things on the down low. But Tiger Woods and a lady named Erica Herman have just had all their dirty laundry aired in the court thanks to one humdinger of a breakup. Apparently, Woods and Herman began dating around six years ago. Herman, at the time, was the general manager of Tiger's restaurant, appropriately named The Woods. Now, we're not exactly sure when they began dating, but Herman moved into Woods' Jupiter, Florida mansion around six years ago and has lived there ever since. But things took a turn for the worst in October of 2022 when Woods carried out one of the most inventive breakups we have ever heard of. He must have been really scared of ticking this lady off because, according to court records, in order to get her out of his house, his people told her to prepare for a short vacation and meet him at the airport. So, as you might expect, Herman packed her bags and headed out for what she thought was going to be a relaxing vacation. But Woods wasn't even at the airport when she arrived. Instead, she was met by the golfer's lawyers who gave her her walking papers and on top of that told her she would not be allowed back into Woods' home. They were changing the locks. Instead, Woods paid for her to stay at a resort hotel until she could find her own place. Now, we would never even know about this because Erica and Tiger signed a non-disclosure agreement all the way back in August 2017. But Erica has taken matters to Florida State Court because she feels she has been wrong and needs to tell her story. So, what's she suing over? Glad you asked. There are actually not one but two lawsuits. The first is a doozy at over 30 million bucks in damages. And it isn't even Tiger that's being sued. Instead, the suit names the Jupiter Island Irrevocable Homestead Trust, which is just the legal entity Wood set up that legally owns his mansion on Jupiter Island. In the suit, Herman alleges that when she was locked out of Tiger's seaside mansion, he broke what the lawyers call an oral tenancy agreement to allow her to live there rent-free for 11 years. And by the way, she says she has five more years with the right to bunk in the mansion if she wants. So the suit claims that because she no longer has the ability to live in Tiger's mansion, she's owed the equivalent rent for the next five years or something like that. Tiger, of course, says he never made any sort of an oral agreement for his girlfriend to live in the mansion for 11 years, regardless of the status of their relationship. Hey, why would he? Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear people who are in love talking about their relationship, they normally speak in terms of the rest of their lives. It's hard to imagine Tiger saying, Hey, you're great. I think you could be my soulmate. Why don't we plan to make this relationship work for the next... Oh, let's say 11 years. Weird, right? Now, the second lawsuit is against Tiger himself, but it isn't for any money. Instead, Ms. Herman wants to be released from her non-disclosure agreement so she can tell the world her story. The first thing most people are going to think is that Erica Herman wants out of her NDA so that she can go on all the talk shows and maybe even write a book about her time with the world-famous Woods so she can be famous too and make a buck. Hey, it's the American way. But it turns out there's a wrinkle here with some pretty serious allegations. In fact, one of the questions in the lawsuit gets straight to the point. It asks, does this case involve allegations of sexual abuse? And Herman's attorney answered with a yes. Yikes. That's a big deal because one surefire way to nullify a non-disclosure agreement between two people is if sexual abuse or harassment happened after the agreement was signed. This is allowed thanks to a great law called the Speak Out Act, which was designed to keep predators from hiding behind NDAs so that their victims aren't allowed to speak out about how they were wronged. Now, 
We don't know that Tiger has done anything wrong. Ms. Herman may just be alleging that just to make Tiger feel the heat. After all, the man is a worldwide celebrity who has already had his share of bad press and almost certainly doesn't want any more. It is important to note that Ms. Herman hasn't made specific allegations of sexual assault or harassment against Woods yet, but her court filings imply that she might if the court declares her NDA invalid. Until then, she's not even sure what she's allowed to say. Tiger's legal team is arguing that Herman's NDA requires her to resolve any disputes in confidential arbitration, not in a public court like this. The whole situation is pretty messy, and it's not entirely clear why Herman is filing these lawsuits. One possibility is that something happened between the two of them, and she wants to get justice. Hey, we can't blame her if that's the case. But another possibility is that she's just angry about getting kicked out of the house and wants to tell her side of the story. Or some people are speculating that she's just trying to pressure Woods into paying her a settlement without actually making any allegations. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. It is worth noting that NDAs are typically used to ensure privacy or non-disclosure between two parties. Celebrities like Tiger often use them to protect their private lives from getting out to the public, and businesses use them to protect against trade secrets getting loose. In this case, Woods and Herman signed their NDA at the beginning of their relationship, but it looks like that agreement may not be enough to keep everything private anymore. Hey, we just hope it all works out for the best for everyone involved. Good luck, y'all.